Farther south in Texas, there is even more prairie to consider, the Texas Coastal Plain. Here, the rolling hills of East Texas and the Blackland Prairie give way to nearly pancake flat terrain. Interstate 10 from east to San Antonio all the way to the Louisiana state line is a convenient way to think of its northern edge. Within the coastal plain, you'll see marshes along the shores of the Gulf of Mexico edged with vast grasslands that surround the city of Houston. Waterfowl are frequent visitors to this part of the state as they head down to the Gulf to winter. The coastal prairies are fertile and were attractive to farmers and ranchers who were coming to Texas, since the deep, slow rivers that cut across this region gave them access to the Gulf of Mexico. Stephen F. Austin's colony at San Felipe de Austin is right on the edge of the coastal prairie, where it starts to give way to the Post Oak and Blackland Prairie. The Gulf of Mexico is a chief feature of the coastal prairies and you are never far from the ocean. As a result, the humidity is high. The coastal marshes are in some places extensive, especially as you head into the southeastern corner of the state. The city that characterizes this coastal plain the best is Houston, one of the largest cities in the United States, the largest city in Texas, and it sits like a colossus astride this part of the state. Other cities, including Victoria and Corpus Christi, anchor the southern end of the Texas coastal plain. The development of Texas owes a lot to this region of prairies, marshes, beaches, and estuaries.